The Oregon Department of Environmental Quality oversees the permitting of on-site septic systems throughout Oregon. In general, the permitting of septic systems can be split into two categories, residential systems that are issued a construction installation permit and large systems known as water pollution control facilities that are issued individual permits. The following information is intended to help those who hold water pollution control facilities permits understand their permit requirements and the steps they can take to make sure their large septic systems are efficient and safe. Larger septic systems, those with a capacity of more than 2,500 gallons per day, or those with more concentrated waste, are issued individual water pollution control facilities permits. These larger systems are typically found at mobile home parks in rural areas, schools, restaurants, hotels, laundromats, wineries, and campgrounds. As an owner of a facility with a large septic system, it is your responsibility to review and understand your permit. First, make sure your permit reflects the correct ownership and location for the facility. This information can be found on the front of the permit. If you need a copy of your permit, you can request that on DEQ's website. You might want to take a minute to jot down the web address for future reference. To request a copy of your permit, simply click the About Us tab in the green bar on the top of the page and select Request Public Records. Your permit will outline all of the monitoring, sampling, and reporting requirements for your septic system. It is important that regular monitoring and sampling occur to allow you, your maintenance provider, or DEQ to fully evaluate the effectiveness of your septic system. This information may be crucial to early discovery of problems that may be far more expensive to fix if left alone. Take a look at your permit. Schedule B on page 3 outlines the monitoring requirements that you are responsible for. Often, Schedule B will include requirements for monthly flow measurements in gallons per day and annual calibration of the flow meter. Schedule B will also describe what sampling needs to happen and when. Typically, effluent sampling is completed on an annual basis and is for such items as total nitrogen, total suspended solids, biological oxygen demand, grease, and oils. Check Schedule B of your permit for specifics on your system. You'll also find your reporting requirements in Schedule B. Typically, you're required to submit annual reports to DEQ that report your flow monitoring, sample results, any maintenance activities, and any pumping out of your tanks. Again, check Schedule B of your permit for specifics on your system and when your report is due to DEQ. On your annual report, you should have the flow information and sampling data. You'll also need to use the reference limits from Schedule A of your permit. Schedule A will have the maximum daily flow and effluent limits for all of the items you are required to sample for. For example, Schedule A may show that the limit for total nitrogen in the effluent is 150 mg per liter. A sample result with a higher number indicates that the sewage may not be treated properly and the system may need to be checked out for maintenance or cleaning. Your permit will also have a listing of special conditions specific to your type of septic system for you to know about and follow. There are also several sections of the permit on maintenance, reporting, and record keeping. While owners can sample and monitor their septic systems, some permits require you to hire a professional and certified septic maintenance service provider to maintain, monitor, and sample the system on a regular basis. Check your permit to see if this applies to you. The old adage, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, is relevant to septic systems too. You can find a list of certified maintenance service providers on DEQ's webpage. Simply click on the on-site wastewater management link under the residential tab. Then, look at the licensing and certification tab on your right and select search the database of licensed on-site system installer and pumper businesses. Here's what you'll see. Finally, 
If you have detailed questions about your permit, monitoring, sampling, or reporting requirements, contact your maintenance service provider or TEQ permit writer and inspector for your area. If you're not sure who to contact, visit DEQ's webpage. Click on the on-site wastewater management link under the residential tab, then select contact under the about program section. Our dedicated staff is always happy to help.